the trouble with bubbles. Hi, Gramps. Hi, kids. How are you today? Not too good. Yep, that's the last of my gasoline. Oh, dear. It can't be good for a gas station to be out of gas, can it? <laughs> no worries. Burly Bear should be here any minute now with more gasoline. <laughs> and there he is now. Sorry I'm late, Gramps. Busy town's pretty, well, busy this morning. Just glad to see you, Burly. My main tank's plumb out of gas. I'd better fill it up, then. Howdy, folks. The name's Slim. I got a delivery for one, two, three, Curly Tail Lane. That's where Pig will and Pig won't live. Let me show you. So, what have you got for them? A tanker full of bubble bath soap. A tanker full? I wonder what they're gonna do with that much bubble bath soap. They said something about making Busy Town's biggest bubble bath. Wow. That sounds exciting. Thanks for your help. No problem, Slim. Howdy. Howdy. Your main tank's full. I just need you to sign this and I'll be off. We better get going, too. Loli's waiting for us. Good morning, Gramps. Fill her up, please. Your thing, Mr. Frumble. Morning, Loli. Hiya, guys. Nice day for a drive. Huh? <gasps> hmm. Hmm. Whoa. Cars blowing soap bubbles? And something tells me we're gonna follow those bubbles. You bet! Come on! I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah, it's bubbly amazing. <laughs> and bubbly fun. Oh. Oh. Goodness gracious. What happened, Mr. Frumble? Yeah, what's with all the bubbles? I haven't a clue, kids. And now my car won't even start. Maybe it's out of gas? That's impossible. I just had my tank filled at Gramps' place. Well, it looks to me like we have a mystery on our hands. Busy Town Bug News! Goldbug here. We are receiving strange reports of bubble-blowing cars conking out all over Busy Town. What do you know about this, Huckle? Well, I know that's what happened to Mr. Frumble's pickle car here, but I don't know why. Not to worry, though. I'm gonna solve Busy Town's big bubble mystery. <clears throat> With some help, of course. Ready for it? Here goes! are going to get to the bottom of Busy Town's Bubble to Rubble. Stay tuned for updates. So, what do we do first? Well, first we need to look for clues. Any ideas, Sally? Sally? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Big Brother, I love bubbles. And it's like the whole town's been turned into one big bubble bath. A big bubble bath? Wait, that's it. Pig will and Pig won't. What about them? Don't you remember? Slim said he was delivering bubble bath soap to them. Maybe they have something to do with all these bubbles. Hey, yeah. Good thinking. Then let's roll, team. I'd better call Gramps and see if he can give me a tow. Guess what, you guys? We have a mystery to solve. Oh, yeah? So do we. Slim just arrived to deliver bubble bath soap for our pool and... Wow. 
You're turning your swimming pool into a giant bubble bath? We were going to, but... Uh... Where are all the bubbles? That's the mystery. Come on, I'll show you. When I left this morning, my tanker was full of bubble bath soap. The needle was there. Now it's here, almost empty. What happened to all that soap? Weird. So what's your mystery? Just as weird. Cars are blowing bubbles all over busy town. That is pretty weird. Goldbug here for an important bubble trouble update. What do you know so far, Huckle? Well, now we have two mysteries. Cars are blowing bubbles and conking out all over busy town. And almost all the bubble bath soap in Slim's truck is gone missing. You might say we have a double bubble mystery. <laughs> That's right, Sally. And my guess is the missing bubble bath soap ended up in all those cars. Only we don't know how yet. Slim, did you make any stops along the way? Uh, just Gramp Station. Wait a second. Mr. Frumble said he filled his car there, just before it conked out, right? Right, and then it started blowing bubbles. So maybe Gramps' gasoline is causing the bubble trouble. I think we should go back to Gramps Station. Maybe we'll find more clues. <gasps> I get to drive! Not if I get there first! <laughs> hey, no fair! Mm -hmm. It looks like Huckle and his team are closer to popping this bubble mystery. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> It's been ringing off the hook ever since this bubble nonsense started. Hey, what's that there gas truck doing back here? Oh, that isn't the gas truck. It's Slim's bubble bath soap truck. That's the gas truck. Howdy again, folks. Maybe you can help clear up a mystery. Another one? What is it, Burley? Can't explain it, but I still have a full tanker of gasoline. You do? But didn't you just fill Gramps' main tank this morning? Uh-huh. At least I thought I did. Whoa. This is getting weirder and weirder. Maybe it isn't so weird after all. Where did you two park when you were here before? There! There! Right next to where I pump my gas into the station's main tank. Hmm. So what do we know so far? We have a gas truck that should be empty, but isn't. And a soap bubble truck that should be full, but isn't. The trucks look almost exactly the same. Big and red. And they were parked right beside each other. So, Huckle, have you solved the bubble trouble mystery? Well, Goldbug, here's what I think happened. Burley thought that Slim's big red truck was his big red truck, and he pumped the station's main tank full of bubble bath soap instead of gasoline. Then after Burley left, Gramps must have pumped the bubble bath soap into his customers' cars. Why your tanker's still full, Burly. And why mine is almost empty. Right. Well, I'll be. What a mix-up. It all sounds possible, but how do we know for sure? There's only one way to find out. Gramps, let's take a look in your main tank. <laughs> Huckle was right! Amazing! Everybody all together Solve the mystery with Huckle You can solve one, two Hooray for Huckle! Of course, I couldn't have done it without my busy town buds And there you have it, folks The double bubble trouble mystery has been solved by Huckle and his team I'm Goldbug, and that's the buzz and bubbles in Fizzy Town. Well, 
That settles that. What about our bubble bath? Busy Town's biggest bubble bath. No worries. I still have some bubble bath soap left in my truck. Maybe not enough for the biggest bubble bath ever. Aww. But it'll still be nice and sudsy. Okay. <laughs> Just want to thank everyone again for all your help today. Especially Huckle and his team of mystery solvers. You're welcome, Gramps. And a big thanks to Pig Will and Pig Won't. This bubble bath pool party was a really cool idea. Of course, I thought of it. I think you mean I thought of it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Are you too sure you didn't come up with the idea together? Yeah, that's together! It. It's too bad our bubble bath isn't Busy Town's biggest, though. Don't worry. I'll deliver the rest of your bubble bath soap first thing in the morning. I can't wait! I get to go in first! No, I get to go in first! No, me! Oh, me! 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 me. me. <laughs> Little Orphan Egg. Try and hit this one. <clears throat> oh! Wow! It's out of the park! I'll get it! Another home run for me! <laughs> hmm. I wonder where it is. It has to be here somewhere. Hold on. This isn't the ball. It's an egg. Yeah. Busy, Busy town, town action buttons. <laughs> Goldbug here reporting live from the park, where a search for Loli's home run ball has led to an unexpected discovery. Huckle, you were one of the first ones on the scene. Can you tell us where that egg came from? It must have fallen out of a nest. And where do you think this nest might be? That's a mystery! And when it comes to solving mysteries, Huckle and his team are the best. All right, then. We need to find out where this mystery egg came from and get it back to where it belongs. Yippee! Yahoo! <laughs> Could you hold this a minute, please? Thanks. <laughs> Huckle and his team are going to solve the lost and found egg mystery. Stay tuned for further exciting developments. I'm Goldbug, and that's the buzz in Busytown. Where do we start looking, Huckle? Well, let's think. Where do eggs come from? Hey, the grocery store has eggs. Yeah, dozens and dozens of eggs. Then that's where we need to go first. Let's get Busytown. Okay, let's check out these eggs. Hmm, these eggs are all white. And ours is beige with spots. That means our egg must have come from somewhere else. But where? Hmm. <gasps> Did you hear that? There's something tapping inside this egg. And it's trying to get out. <gasps> Maybe it's a baby dinosaur. Baby dinosaur? I want an egg like that. I want a dozen eggs like that. <laughs> I've always wanted a pet dinosaur. Hey, you guys. Dinosaurs don't exist anymore. Oh! <laughs> I knew that. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Then, if it's not a dinosaur egg, what kind of egg is it? Some kind of bird egg. 
And by the sounds of it, I don't think we have much time to get this egg back to its nest before the baby bird hatches. Let's get going. <laughs> take good care of you and keep you nice and cozy until we find your real nest and your real mother. Look! Maybe that's the mother bird. Come on! Follow that bird. It might lead us to its nest. Like a bigger bird. Go on, shoo! Ow! Ow! Go find your own raspberries. That bird is way bigger. And it has a nest. A way bigger nest. But how are we going to get the egg all the way up there? Hmm. <laughs> You're going to have to take me up higher. <gasps> Keep looking. Sorry about that. I was so focused on that blue chi bird, I didn't see you coming. Blue what? Eh. Uh, Blue cheap bird. It's a very rare type of bird. And she's sitting on some eggs. Eggs? What color are they? Beige with yellow spots. Let's check it out. Oh no. This isn't the right nest either. Yep, he's right. Ours is different. Uh, what's different about it? See, the spots in these eggs are too small. Ours has big spots. I never knew there are so many different kinds of eggs. The baby bird is getting louder. We need to find its real mother fast before it hatches. Oh no, I think we're too late. It's coming out. Aw, <laughs> so cute. Hi there. Quack? I know what kind of bird says quack. Me too. It's a duck. But don't ducks live near water? Exactly. We've been looking in all the wrong places. We need to be looking near the water. There's a pond in the park. Right near where we found the egg. Of course. The nest must be close to where we found the egg in the first place. Off to the park we go. Come on, team. We have to keep looking, that's all. It has to be here somewhere. 
Hey, come back, little ducky. I found it. I found the nest. Well, the little duck found its nest. But here it is. Oh, no. We're too late. These eggs have already hatched. That means the mother and the other baby ducks are gone. How will we ever get this little duck back to its family? Hmm, that little duck sure has a loud quack. Wait, that sounded more like a big duck. Come on, little ducky. Look, there's its mother. And its father. And its brothers and sisters. We found your whole family. I told you I'd take good care of you. Bug here reporting live from the park with a news update. Have you solved the lost and found egg mystery yet, Huckle? Yes, Goldbug, here's how it happened. We compared our egg to the other eggs we found around Busy Town until we found the right nest. Where we found the baby duck's family. Thanks to Huckle and his team, another egg-citing mystery has been solved. I'm Goldbug, and that's the buzz in Busy Town! Everybody all together solved a mystery with Huckle. You can solve one, two. Hooray, hooray for, for Huckle. Huckle! And hooray for the best team in Busy Town! Hey, look! Another egg! Maybe there's a little duck inside that one, too. Another duck? to look after this one! Oh. oh. No, you don't. Yes, I do. 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 No, you don't. <laughs> There's no duck in here. This is the ball we lost. <laughs> <laughs>